Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd, and I'm currently getting ready for work. I figured I would do kind of like a how I do my makeup for work video and just like a slash a little chit chat get ready with me. I work at Pandora. If you're not familiar with Pandora, it's a jewelry store. I love it. It's super chill and I just... I mean, I love Pandora in general, so if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Michelle and I post new videos every week on lifestyle, beauty, and vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out and yeah, let's get right into it because I'm kind of in a rush. Um, I have to be at work at 11 and it's 9.42, so let's get it. I have my matcha latte here that I make. If you want to know how I make this and you like matcha and kind of want to save like money at Starbucks, I got you so comment below if you want to know like how I do my matcha lattes because honestly it's so good and very easy so, I already took a shower as you could see I woke up with this like huge monster on my face um so yeah that sucks I want to tell you guys a little bit about what it's like working at Pandora um I've been there for about like three and a half almost four years and it's a pretty chill place to work at. Before I worked there, I didn't really have a lot of stuff from there. Like, I, I knew I always liked the jewelry and stuff, but I never, like, went out of my way to, like, go to a Pandora and, like, buy stuff. Um, so I was actually in shock because, like, before I even started working there, Marcus um, gifted me a Pandora bracelet. And it's one of those things that like I didn't even know I wanted, you know? I was honestly happy and like surprised when he got it for me. But it was just kind of, I don't know, like it was just weird. Um, he got me like a bracelet with like three charms and then I still have that bracelet. And um, he did, when we first, like the first jewelry that he ever bought me was the princess ring from Pandora. So I had that already and then he got me the bracelet. So then after that, those are like the only two things that I had. When I started working there is when I like became obsessed and like I bought all these things um, to wear to work and stuff like that. And it's a super like cool brand because like the amount of people that like spend money, like I'm talking like money. People will go in there and like buy like made bracelets. And it's funny because like some people will like make bracelets just for like fashion like not really like memories and moments they'll pick out charms that are cute and colorful and they'll buy double triple charms just to make it like look even and then you have others that like just have a mixture of like all crazy things on there like memories that mean stuff to them so like i have both right now i have my first one that marcus gave me that is pretty much almost filled and that one's like my moments with like memories and stuff and then i also have like my rose two-tone one and that's the one that's kind of like the cute one um, I should say like the one that's going to be kind of like more fashionable like that I could just wear with something It's not going to have like a freaking dog charm on there, you know It's going to be more like classy and elegant. So that's what I'm going with it's just crazy Like the customers that we get, you know, they come in and they buy like spend so much money on these charms And then you have some people that will do that like spend so much money on charms And then they'll treat their bracelet like crap like you guys do not like if you're gonna buy a new charm like take care of your charm like if you guys want i can do a video on like how to take care of your pandora jewelry and like um what not to like not to go in water with it like what not to do with your jewelry and how to like maintain it because like it makes me so sad when like i see people come in and buy a new charm to put on their bracelet and their bracelet looks like crap like it's all tarnished and then you have like that one charm that they just bought that looks so shiny and it's just weird like I don't know, but we do free cleanings for life. So I'm sure your Pandora will do free cleaning um, You just have to drop it off um, And there's ways you can clean at home as well. So like guys take care of your jewelry because whoever is buying you that charm that thing like like 50 to 45 dollars for a little thing Like I would and like you have people that have like so many charms on there. It's like that adds up, you know, like you'll have like a thousand dollar bracelet over and then like treat your bracelet like crap no um but i mean not everyone's like that you know you have people that like are super cautious they take care of their bracelet super good uh and i like seeing those people come in but yeah it's just crazy to me but no we get all kinds of customers and um, i also think it's like super cute and like the parents come in and they buy a bracelet for like their daughter who's like four years old or like even like two years old and they have like a full bracelet i think that's so cute 
um if i had a daughter i probably would get her a bracelet as well um once she was old enough you know to actually fit one but yeah i like pandora i like what it's state like i like the the purpose of like the charms and stuff um the rings i like them because they're very trendy and very affordable rings are also like one of our most popular things and you know i love the pandora rings and all that and i think it's a great like company just because like you know you have like all kinds of prices on stuff and it's still super cute stuff so so yeah i i enjoy working there i mean everyone that i work with is super cool you know we all get along usually on tuesdays it's not that busy during the day so i kind of like like to go like super chill and comfy especially if i'm going to be there for eight hours um so i don't like to do too much to my makeup so, so i like to go with like a very like neutral eye um we wear all black to work so it kind of goes with it as well the, yeah the charms for alice in wonderland just came out so if you are an alice in wonderland fan i would go and check them out because they're super cute the disney collection is honestly one of my favorite I, although i don't own any of the charms um it's just like i like disney but i'm not like oh my god disney like i'm not like a, i'm not like a humongous disney fanatic like i won't i like it you know but i'm not gonna <laughs> buy like I don't know, maybe I'll start a Disney bracelet once I'm done with what I want to do, but it's just not in the cards for me right now, if that makes sense. Oh my god, I need to hurry. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Oh my god, I gotta hurry. So this weekend was super chill. Um, Marcus and I, I was actually off for the first Sunday, because I usually work Sundays at Pandora. I was off for like the first Sunday in like a very long time and marcus and i were supposed to go get massages because we have massages and they expire in april so we figured we'd go sunday but we ended up not going because it was just one of those things that we were like uh not today kind of thing i know it's a massage like you would think that we would be like on it to go but we still have that to look forward to so hopefully we'll go soon my birthday is coming up um my birthday is march 21st i'm gonna be 24 years old and i'm dreading it like i don't want to be like in my mind i think i'm still like 21 like i'm still i'm still 21 like it's just weird like i never even thought that i would see like 24 i don't know if that makes sense i know it's weird but but yeah my birthday is coming up and i'm probably not going to be doing much obviously because of covid and but i do have to remind myself to go get my license because it expires on my birthday this year i'm not happy because like i like my current picture like it still makes me feel young <laughs> it's literally from high school i got my license when i was 18. so like in that picture i was 18. and now it's like i have to get a whole new one and i do not look anything like i did when i was in high school you know i'm kind of like having anxiety about having my picture taken because like what if it doesn't come out good and usually people at dmvs are like super rude at least here like they're so rude and like it's kind of like all right they take the picture and then you're done and then they don't even let you see it they don't let you like retake it like so that's why i'm like dreading it you guys sorry i'm doing my eyeliner and i like to focus So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Oh my God. Doing my eyeliner is so hard. Please, if you have like tips on how to do it better, let me know. Because I've tried everything. I've tried starting from here. I've tried starting from the outer corner. Like, it's just not it. But I think that looks good enough. Oh, I forgot about my latte. So good, you guys. I hit pan on this uh, bronzer. I love it so much. I've had it for about a year, so it lasts a pretty long time. It's like my go-to. I'm probably... I don't know if I should repurchase this one or try like the NARS one. Like I said, I don't like having too much of stuff. I mean, I already do, but like I don't like having like a lot of like 
different kinds of stuff i like sticking to one using it and then maybe trying another or if i really really liked it repurchasing it i used to be like really into makeup i wasn't even like into makeup i was into just having a lot of like new products that come out i felt like i had to have them you know but i over the years i've just kind of like like over the years i'll just stick to what works for me so like this bronzer has been working for me i'm probably just gonna stick to it you know like i'm gonna not buy another bronzer until this one's done like i'm not gonna like unless one came out that's like super amazing that i have to try but other than that like when something works i just stick to it i don't why am i gonna go and try something else if this is like what's good you know like it just makes any it makes no sense and it's such like a waste of money to just have all these things that are just gonna go bad because like makeup goes bad you know so yeah for blush i'm going to use this one i got this in boxycharm and i got this in boxycharm and i love it let me just find my blush brush and i'll be back this is the olimar one i love this like peach one i'm like almost hitting the pan right there so usually i'll do that one or if not i'll just kind of like mix both of these all together and that's what i do um yeah i used to do boxycharm for two years straight and then i canceled it because it came to a point where like i would not open the boxes they were just kind of like all pile up i was too busy like i didn't i wasn't like super excited you know like before when i first got into boxycharm i would like look up the spoilers and like be super happy and just to get it every month you know and then um the price went up and i, and I still kept doing it for about a year and then i just wouldn't like i wouldn't open the boxes i like just piled them up so then before christmas um i canceled the subscription i think like november and so when christmas time came i had like box i had like at least three boxes like three months worth of boxes that i hadn't opened so i'm like you know what to the girls in my family to my friends like that's what they're gonna get like i just would open them and like i put them in little like gifts for them because like so it kind of worked out you know and then i kept some things but they weren't that good towards the end like i don't know it just wasn't it so that's my story with that um i'm pretty much all done i'm just gonna put mascara I do my hair real quick and go i'm sorry you guys that i get so quiet when i do my makeup like maybe i shouldn't film get ready's with me because god i'm so boring like i just forget that you guys are here like i don't forget but like it's just like uh awkward i will get better at it i promise like i'm literally like just i don't know i focus too much when i do my makeup maybe i don't know maybe because it's the morning and i'm just like like i don't know should i even put this up like what's going on are you guys gonna like this like are you not like i don't know i'm probably still gonna put it up and <laughs> find how awkward i am yay my makeup is done okay guys so this is what i'm wearing today i'm just doing like a tee with some leggings and then these cute little sandals that i got from target um for jewelry i'm wearing my moments bracelet um and then i'm wearing my promise ring that's not pandora and then these two i stack together um and then on this hand i'm wearing just my everyday ring we got this one in new and then this one's a retired one but it's my favorite because it has black and then the essence that's retired and Oh, my reflections bracelet that I love so that's what I'm wearing today and for earrings I'm doing these little hoops Let's see if I can focus. I'm doing these little hoops from Pandora I love them okay guys so that completes the video I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me um, and if you have any more questions about what it's like working at Pandora or anything about how to clean your jewelry or any questions that you might have um, comment down below or let me know and I will get back to you I will be happy to do a video on it um, I hope that everyone has an amazing day and I will see you guys on the next one bye